up everybody it's me miss ebony v welcome back or to my channel if you are new to my channel i do like to bring you hair and makeup related videos at least every monday wednesday and friday so if that's something that you're interested in please do consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you are notified when i upload a video for all of my returning supporters hey sugar muffin thanks for coming back all right y'all so welcome to another edition of budget friendly fridays i said budget friendly fridays budget friendly friday is where i like to give you wig options that cost under 25 dollars we know we are going through the rona right now and we got some income changes with a lot of people so i am here to look out for those that don't want to spend too many coins on wigs you want to spend the minimal so i'm here for you on budget friendly fridays all right so today i'm reviewing a synthetic wig from milky way she is in the style harmony 115 and in the color sop 27 gold 30. this is a human hair master mix lace front wig and as you can see it is in this nice blunt cut so let's go ahead without further ado and get into this review all right so here is the hair straight out of the package and as you can see it has a beautiful blend of blondish colors this is what the hairline looks like nothing really special and what the lace color looks like on my skin standard cap construction with the two combs on the side one comb in the back and it actually has the breathable cap the unit actually does come down ear to ear on both sides and i am very comfortable in saying that it is big head friendly because it was quite roomy this unit does not require any gluing down, so I'm just using some bobby pins on the sides to keep it in place. So as I was applying my foundation powder, I noticed some exposed tracks in the back. And so I had to comb the hair a little differently to try to cover those up. Harmony 115. She's a cutie. She is cute and I'm loving this color, right? Right? We love the, the blonde mixtures. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Another good thing about this unit is she is beginner friendly. This is a good throw and go right here. I feel like I haven't done a throw and go in a while. So I'm pleased to bring you back a throw and go. So I didn't really do much to her at all, y'all. I just put her on my head. I ain't have to tint no lace. I ain't have to glue her down. I use the bobby pin method to make sure she's secure. I do have my wig grip on. I kind of always do when I'm reviewing a synthetic unit. Put a little foundation powder in the parting space. And I also cut a little V here to open up this parting space. At first, I pulled a few little hairs out, but it didn't do enough for me. So I just went ahead and cut a little V to make that parting space open up a little bit. Nice little trick. And I think she is really cute, y'all. Now, what comes with Budget Friendly Friday is, although it's budget friendly, might not be worthy. So, I like to give you all the tea so that you can make your own executive decision. Now, I can't even say I had a whole lot of cons with this spoon because I really didn't. There's no tangles. Like, you know, it's a blunt cut. So, why would we be stuck anywhere? I don't know. My only con for this unit is the excessive shedding. No exaggeration. Excessive shedding, y'all. Now, 
it really reminds me of an Amazon unit I reviewed way back when it feels like. It might not have been that long ago, but it was a blunt cut just like this with a dark root and bleeding into the blonde. And that was another shatter. Oh my gosh. And maybe it's just the, the blonde color mixed with the blunt cut. I'm starting to think because, whew, the shedding is real. Hair was all over me. I don't know. It may or may not be a deal breaker for some. Oh. I take that back. I said one con. Nope. I got two. The other con is, I don't know what's going on here. Back here in the back. And I kind of showed you, but it's really, really thin up here. Like, they didn't put enough hair, um, like, in this little area to make sure the tracks are covered. So when, <laughs> when I was filling in my parting space, I honestly thought the parting space went back even further. So then when I saw that it stopped right there, I was like, well, wait a minute. Why do I see a little track right here? So I had to remaneuver the hair and comb it, you know, the hair starting here and make sure I combed it back over the track. So, you know, it's just one of those things you just got to be mindful of. Some people are like, I really don't have time for that. I don't think it's super noticeable. I just know I noticed it. Um, So, you know, at your discretion. <laughs> That's all I would say. Would I wear this out right now? Mm -hmm, probably. Yep. I don't think it's clockable or I don't think it's that clockable. You know what I mean? Things in the front are a little more clockable to me, but it's so dark back here. I don't think it's that clockable, but... It's just me. So I did get this unit from GlamourTrust.com for $19.10, y'all. Love a good cost-efficient <laughs> wig. Now, if I come across some sites that may be a little less, I'll be sure to put them in the description box below for you. So y'all be sure to let me know what you think of Miss Harmony 115 down in the comments below. We'll chat there. I love chatting with y'all. Even if you don't have a comment, just say hey. Just say hey, girl. Because otherwise, I don't know that you're there. <laughs> if you stop by, I won't know if you don't leave a comment. So just say, hey girl, I'm here. All right, well, that concludes this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. Please be sure to thumbs up this video, hit that subscribe button, and go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Miss Ebony V because you don't get all of the YouTube notifications and I always post on Instagram what I upload on YouTube. All right, y'all. I will catch you in the next video. Bye, y'all. Finally got some closure. Yeah, I can finally start over. Yeah. So